Hi, I'm Kobe Marimi from Israel and you are watching ESC Fan TV. I'm Tom Hughes from ESC Fan TV and I'm here with the fantastic Kobe who's representing Israel this year with the song Home. Hi Kobe. Hi, hi Tom, how are you? I'm very well, thanks. Now, first of all, representing Israel in a year when it's actually hosting, what does that mean to you? Ah, it's amazing. I'm a huge Eurovision fan. I've never imagined that I would be a part of this contest and the fact that I'm doing it in Israel, in Tel Aviv, my city. It's a dream, it's a dream. And what does the song mean to you? Because, I mean, I've listened to it a few times now. It's a really, really powerful ballad. And, I mean, your voice is amazing, okay? Um, but what does it actually mean to you in terms of the song? Um, people who, who know me a bit know, like in Israel, people know me and they know how much I can connect to this song because of the journey I've been through in life but I won't say a lot about it. I just say that I'm dedicating this song to every person, everyone who ever been told that he's not good enough, everyone who been a bit lost or insecure. And I think that this song has a very important message that everyone should feel at home in his own skin. And um, yeah, be strong. <laughs> uh, that is fantastic. And thinking about that as well how is the staging going to be reflecting that can you give us any hints is there any is there any tricks you've got up your sleeve for us this year it's just uh, <laughs> um, actually we are still working on it um, it's gonna be many surprise gonna be special I think I hope mm -hmm. and I cannot say anything more it's just gonna be me on stage mm -hmm. that's it <laughs> Simple performances go down well, and do you reckon we're going to be back in Israel next year? Can you, can you see it happening? Uh, I hope so. I don't know. I'm trying to focus in on delivering the song and, you know, 200 million viewers and touch as many hearts as I can, and it's going to be a, a win situation anyway. But if I win the contest, I, I don't know. I... It can be amazing. <laughs> I, I know, it's crazy. But, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, 1978, you know, um, you had yeah, Abani B one, and then Alleluia one in 1979. So, you know, it could happen. Um, now, um, doing my research, I hear you live in Tel Aviv. Now, obviously, there are, there's going to be thousands, hundreds of thousands of fans that descend on Tel Aviv in May. And for them, it's not just about going to see the contest, although obviously that is a massive part but they also do their fair share of sightseeing and things as well. Now, obviously in Israel's song, Golden Boy, you know, let me show you Tel Aviv. What would you recommend to the fans to go out and see of that fantastic city? Wow. Um, it's hard for me to give advices because for me it's like normal, but just wake up, go to the beach, um, eat something good, eat falafel and then and, and pizza and hamburger and sushi and everything and just... I, you thought I'm going to say only Middle Eastern food? No, you can eat everything and go to drink a, a cocktail on a rooftop and just walk around, go to uh, Jaffa, Jaffa. Brilliant, because <laughs> Stuart, Stuart is going to be there. So, you know, it, he, he was looking, <laughs> looking for the tips. Well, Kobe, best of luck for Tel Aviv. Thank you very much. And all the best. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. 